Hi guys, I'm Tamisha with Toolbox Divas and today I'm helping out a friend in his backyard make over his patio. So my friend approached me and said that he wanted to do something different with his patio, his backyard. He found it to be a little dull and boring and uh, it needed some love. So he called me up and asked me if I would help and I was like, yeah, I'd help. That was before we had the 100 degree heat wave and all but we pushed through and we got it done so i'm excited today to show you what we did all right let's get dirty <laughs> so we started out by leveling the patio pavers that had sunken over time using some um, sand and a leveling device and a trial. We actually went through and leveled each tile one by one. So my friend had always envisioned some sort of shade structure in the back so he decided he would like a pergola. So I started off by giving the boards a light sanding. Next I'm taking some corner brackets and creating a, a spray painting station. I'm spray painting these brackets black to match the hardware that we're going to be using for the pergola. While the brackets dry, I apply a red cedar color solid stain to the 4x4s as well as to the 1x3 furring strips. Now while the 4x4s are pressure treated, the 1x3s are not pressure treated but we are staining it with a solid stain. So that should actually hold the furring strips for some time. So I've decided to create some sort of shade for the pergola on the side. So using the protractor and a speed square, I'm outlining where the corner brackets are gonna go. And in doing this in the beginning, I realized that my alignment was off. Yeah, it was all wrong, but I'll get back to that in a little bit. So for the pergola, we are using a Toya grid system. It's a bracket system that you can use to create a modern pergola or hammock. We were given the Toya grid system to review. So the brackets enable this system to be a modular system so that you can make it as long or as short as you'd like. This is also advertised as a system that you can put up in 45 minutes to an hour. However, for us, we had a little bit of a different experience. So we started building from the top. As you can see, we started with the roof structure of the pergola. If you look closer, you'll see scrapes on the sides of the 4x4s because it was extremely difficult to put it into each of the brackets. Uh, now we're not exactly sure if it was hard to put into the brackets because we had stained it first um, or what, but we had to use a mallet uh, for each of the different brackets at every point. Uh, so this made the process a lot longer than normal. Next we attempted to put the first side on and we quickly realized that this is not meant for two people. But with the help of a lever, i.e. another four by four in the middle to prop the pergola in place, we were able to get the second side of four by fours in place. But if you do decide to use this system, I highly recommend three to four people to install this system. But as you can see, even at this point, we were still using a mallet to drive the 4x4 squarely into each bracket. And we finished off by adding the base brackets, also with the help of leverage. I can't tell you how excited we were to finally be done with this structure because it really took a lot out of us. Once it was done, we put it in the location that we needed and actually dug a hole to fill for our concrete footers. So because this is going behind my friend's house, it was very important that the pergola has a solid foundation that could withstand 50 mile per hour wind. So below each post paver, we dug a hole and filled it with concrete and threaded rods that we cut down with a reciprocating saw after it dried. And somebody was really tired at this point. <laughs> but while my friend worked on ensuring that the patio pavers were leveled, I worked on a scrap wood project to create a large planter for the front of the pergola. And then I heard a loud crash. The glass patio table came crumbling down and there was glass everywhere. This meant the original glass table was not gonna work. And to be honest with you, 
I'm kind of glad it happened. I hated that table. <laughs> Originally, we were going to try and work with the table and the frame of the chair and just replace the cushions to stay on budget. But now we're going to be replacing the cushions and the table. Yay. So to continue with the pergola, we cut an additional 4x4 to fit in the center of the front of the pergola so that we could create a louvered screen using the furring strips and the corner brackets. Once we had the pergola in place, we realized that the initial markings for the corner brackets were off, so we had to redo that. So now we had to scramble looking for pillows and a new table, all at the end of summer. The first clearance find was not gonna work. The second set of pillows were okay, but were too thin. And I realized that the, the planner box looked dwarfed in the middle of the louvered screen. So I made a second larger planter that nicely filled the space. We ran around to a lot of different stores until we found these bargain babies for $14.99 per set of pillows. We hung some string light, put in a table fire pit, and we were done, guys! We transform a backyard space that was once dingy and drab to something absolutely fab. <laughs> and here's what I learned from this overall experience. You need three to four people when setting up a pergola system of this nature. There is no such thing as a temporary structure when it's behind your house. Find out what the city requirements are for an exterior structure in the back of your home. You may be required to obtain a permit and plan for things to almost never go as expected. <laughs> now all in all, I can honestly say that I love the way everything turned out. We had some really hard times. Our biggest challenge was the weather. I think I drank like two bottles of water every five minutes, two minutes, I don't know. It was ridiculous. It was super hot. I thought I was gonna die. Ah! But we made it through. And I love it. And I think he loves it too. Cause he's over there right now making dinner. And before I forget, please subscribe to this channel and don't be shy. Follow us on social media at Toolbox Divas on Facebook and Instagram. Alright guys, till next time.